What the heck is going on guys? Welcome to your 15th Ajax tutorial and in this video what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys about a really cool technique that you can do with JavaScript and XML. Specifically I want to talk to you guys about nodes. A node, first of all, what the heck is a node? I better explain that. Well in XML, if you're unfamiliar, and I want to talk about this because I know at the beginning of this uh, series I said if you're not you know super familiar with XML I'll give you guys a little brief description as we go along so we won't get lost so for those of you you know who know about that that's fine but for those of you who haven't worked with it a lot before basically whenever you're working with the XML document everything is a node the people who develop XML were really lazy so they pretty much called everything a node so let me go ahead and write some crap real quick I'll just make a simple paragraph and I'll be like um, Bucky, uh, text, text, whatever. Alright, so even though we're looking at an HTML document, let's just go ahead and pretend this was an XML document because, you know, they're pretty similar actually. So basically, if this was an XML document, then this entire document, everything, would be called a document node. And let's go ahead and take a look at this paragraph right here. Every single element in this paragraph, this body, this head, this script, We'll just go ahead and concentrate on the paragraph right here. This paragraph element is called an element node. Pretty creative, you know? And this text right here, can you guess what they called the text? It's called a text node. So basically, every single thing in an XML document is called a node. Pretty creative, but why did I go ahead and waste a minute of your life explaining that? Well, the reason I did that was because I just felt like wasting a minute of your life. No, I'm just kidding. But it's basically because we can work with these individual nodes in JavaScript and we can do some really awesome and useful things with them. So the first thing I want to do is explain to you guys that I'm not going to waste your time uh, coding this entire HTML document. I basically have a script uh, or um, a little piece of code that links to this file right here. And also on load it calls game time and of course we need to code that function right now. So of course my div is called the D for the div of course you know what else would that stand for. So now let's go ahead and code the one function that I want to talk to you guys about game time. So remember that this is the function that whenever this HTML document loads that this is the very first function that's going to be called and guys uh, this is the only function in this tutorial so you know don't worry. Now the first thing I want to do is I basically want to create a program like we did last time but instead of listing you know like my favorite movies which were maybe inappropriate movies what I want to do is I want to do that in a different way I want to do that through the use of nodes so I don't want to do movies again because you know that's boring so let's just go ahead and create uh, like a list of my favorite things or something so the first thing we need is that title because you know how it said you know like here's a list of my favorite movies I'll just go ahead and generate that title through JavaScript this time so document and this is how you create an individual node in JavaScript so before you just go ahead and write it in your HTML document but for this you would put create text node and this pretty much means create text simple enough probably didn't even need to explain that so let's go ahead and write um, here are some things. Wow. How do you spell things? Let me look that up in Urban Dictionary. Alright. So this is basically just text. So now what I want to do is now that we got the text node created, I want to go ahead and create that list. So how do you create a pretty much an element? And this goes the same for any XML. Um, if you're working with HTML, you can go ahead and create, you know, uh, paragraphs and uh, unordered list and I'll go ahead and show you guys and it'll make sense so in order to create an un unordered list kind of a tongue twister this is what you need to do document dot create element because remember that I said that the paragraph that we took away that paragraph was called an element node so this is basically how you create that create element and then as the parameter you write the name of your element so I want to create an unordered list and of course the element name for that is UL. Simple enough, we already know that from HTML. So now what we basically did is we created a piece of text and this is kind of going to be like the header and we also created an unordered list. 
Now what we need to do is we actually need to add items to that list. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. Item 1 equals 